I'm Danny Kennedy and today officially kicks off Riverbend 2010. Grace Potter and the Nocturnals take the stage tonight, the Bud Light stage at 745 and they have a new album out, the self-titled album Grace Potter and the Nocturnals and she's here right now. Grace Potter, thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure, how do you do? I'm great. Now earlier this week you did a surprise show on Tuesday in Burlington, Vermont yeah. and that's really home for you. Talk about what it's like going from a uh, home with your family and then doing a show there when you're releasing a new album. Well, it was a, a random sort of last minute idea that thanks to Twitter and Facebook and sort of the, the World Wide Web, it wound up uh, spreading to many thousands and thousands of people. And the streets were filled in a way that I, I wasn't expecting. I had no idea what a zoo it was going to be. Um, but it was so heartwarming and probably the best thing we ever could have done to launch our record release. Because with that kind of wind in your sails, I mean, I could go for months on, on the fumes of, of that day. It was so special. It really was. Let's talk about this. This is your third studio album at age 26 that's pretty impressive and um, you know the last album I believe you were in the studio for what one week yeah we we spent a short amount of time it was it was a little longer than that the first album that we did as a band we were in there for actually only four days and we cranked it all out live and uh, we've been trying to get back to that ever since but we're not you know we're not the best studio band like up until recently we weren't very comfortable in the studio but working with a producer like Mark Batson, he made it easy. He just inspired us to, to create and to keep working on what we believe in until it sounds right. And uh, it was really easy. It was very effortless. And it was more like a month total in the studio. But it was still, um, it really captured the raw energy of, of what we do. Yeah. Now, I would never ask a musical artist to name their favorite song from the album, but Tiny Light seems to be getting a lot of attention. Mm. It's your first music video as well. Talk about that song. That song was written uh, in the sort of, I guess it was the late winter, early spring of last year, 2009. And if you remember, it was dark time in the, the economic world, at least. Um, a lot of people were losing their jobs. And I remember flying into L.A. after having not been there for a few months, and we'd taken a break, and it was like, all the stores that, I mean, everything that seemed to be open last time I was in LA was just gone, boarded up and gone. And it was like an entire piece of our history had been sort of lost, you know? And, and there was a lot of people living out of grocery carts. And it just really scared me. And, and that day I met Mark and uh, started writing with him. And I knew I wanted to write a song like that, but it took a few days for me to get that one out. It, you know, just really struck a chord, but I didn't want it to be too literal. I wanted it, and I also wanted to have hope, you know, because I'm, I'm a pretty positive person. I like to think that there's always light at the end of the tunnel, so that's what the song is about. Very cool. Now, almost one year ago exactly, you were performing at the Bonnaroo Festival in Manchester, mm -hmm. Tennessee. I know. Tennessee, baby. And now you're down here at Riverbend in Chattanooga. Yeah. Is this a trend we're going to continue to see? I love Tennessee, man. I hope we can get down here, like, more than once a year. I mean, there's no excuse. It's such a great state full of music. I mean, it's just got so much history and and, and culture and, and love, and there's passion there, man. It's country music. I love it. And, and it's not like we're a country band, but we've got a lot of influences, and I, you know, try to carry that with me wherever we go. Speaking of, who are your musical influences? A little bit of everything. You know, it starts with the classic stuff. I mean, even Sun House and, and the blues masters, you know, I mean... Uh, I think Muddy Waters uh, performing with the band on the last waltz was one of my favorite moments in time where you could see that transition of blues music and in, into modern rock and roll. Although the band isn't considered modern rock anymore, I know it's quite classic now. But a lot of current influences, you know, bands that you see out on tour even right now. I love uh, OK Go and um, MGMT and the Fleet Foxes, and there's lots of fantastic bands out there. Spoon, they're playing up in Vermont soon. I'm going to miss them. But, and Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings are fantastic as well. Excellent. Now, you've done a lot of cool things at a young age. You've opened for Dave Matthews Band. You've sat in with Government Mule. You've gone to all sorts of music festivals. What's it like going from a fan of these people, listening to their music, to actually sitting in and right. playing keys or singing a song with them? I think, well, for the Government Mule, it was more I knew about the Allman Brothers, and I knew a little bit about... Warren as a musician because I know he's, he sits in with a lot of people and 
I didn't know a lot about government mules, so it made it easier and less nerve-wracking for me to collaborate with him. And obviously, I mean, I, I, if you don't know, he's one of the most fantastic people in the world and has truly become sort of my, my godfather in this, in this uh, rock and roll world. So he's really been quite a good influence on me. And touring with Dave was fantastic. I mean, he's one of those guys who, once you get into the Dave umbrella, he never lets you go. And I think that there's a real sense of community that he creates around everybody who he brings on the road with him. And he's done a really good job of keeping that, you know. Well, Grace, congratulations on everything. Thank you so much for joining us, and good luck tonight. Grace Potter, 745 to 9 o'clock on the Bud Light stage here at Riverbend. I'm Danny Kennedy for WRCBTV.com.